Do you think that we should be taking in the refugees or is there something else that we can really go about doing? Well, I'm always 100% about people coming here legally, uh, like yeah. no matter what. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm not like the creative most person on withdrawing, but I think it could have been done like slowly and gathering our equipment and like, you know, making sure there's any clear of any type of Taliban or anything else like a slow step instead of like all at once, you know, slow while taking our equipment with us. Do you think that we kind of abandoned our people over there and how they're kind of stranded over there? I don't think that you could try to do it worse. I yeah. think it was intentionally done as, as poorly as possible. For what reason? Maybe to open the gates more to immigration policy or just maybe to, you know, stir the war machine even more? What do you think? That's an interesting question because I think the left uh, ideally or, or uh, most of the time are pro war machine. Mm -hmm. um, they love to be in other people's business and mm -hmm. yeah. other people's countries and yeah. that uh, uh, it's interesting that they pulled out in, in such a uh, a typical manner, but I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why it was bungled as bad yeah. as it was. I think we should open our doors to that. Uh, I'm not an expert at it, so I don't. I don't have like really great answers for that. I think we help people when we can. Yes. I think that there are legitimate uh, reasons to come here, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of those, uh, like with Cuba, there's a there's an environment that people's lives are at stake. And, yes. and as Americans, the United States, we can help them. What are your just general thoughts on our uh, pullout? Really, I, I agree with the pullout. I don't agree with the way we did it. Um, as far as, uh, from what I've seen, the President Trump's uh, uh, agreement, it was, it was a, a solid agreement with conditions. And so if we were going to pull out, I really think we should have done it. One is the military should be the last ones to go. And, and they had plans. In fact, we have a friend that worked over there and, for years on the, on the Air Force Base. And they told them back in January to start packing their stuff up. They did. And then they come in at night and just say, let's go. Do you think that it's our responsibility to open our doors to people who are affected by that? I think it's our responsibility to get the people out that helped us. Because from what we've seen in the past, we've signed their death sentence if they don't get out. I mean, that's just the way that, that, that group operates over there. So yeah, I think we need to get them out. Do they need to come to the United States? I don't know. In terms of the refugee situation, do you believe that we should uh, be taking them in? They need to be vetted first. There's a legal way to do everything. What would you really like to see in terms of change in this country? Number one change needs to bring, be to bring God back into this country. That needs to be our first and number one change. Yeah. And because without that, we are doomed to fail. So how do you think that God has been taken out of, of the country? Oh, well, taken and out of our schools, taken out of our, our uh, any, everything, you know, where we're being persecuted as we speak.